The NMC COSIN Horizon Report 2016 K-12 edition was produced by the NMC in collaboration with COSIN and made possible by ShareFair Nation under a grant from the Mortgage Family Foundation. What is on the five-year horizon for K-12 schools worldwide? Which trends and technologies will drive educational change? What are the challenges that we consider as solvable or difficult to overcome? And how can we strategize effective solutions? These questions steer the NMC COSIN Horizon Report 2016 K-12 edition. Our expert panel selected 18 topics likely to impact technology planning and decision-making over the next five years. Six key trends, six significant challenges, and six important developments in educational technology. First up, the key trends likely to drive technology planning and decision-making over the next five years. In the long term, redesigning learning spaces and rethinking how schools work. As emerging technologies gain a solid foothold, schools are rethinking the traditional design of the classroom. Flexible learning environments must promote interactivity and enable active learning, so schools are redesigning rooms to focus on pedagogy and layout. There is also a focus movement to reinvent the entire school experience. Leaders are rethinking how schools work, allowing opportunities for multidisciplinary learning and ample room for independent study. People learn and work differently than previous generations, and current workforce trends demand changes to schooling that emphasize 21st century skills. In the midterm trends, accelerating technology adoption for the next three to five years, collaborative learning refers to students or teachers working together in peer-to-peer -peer or group activities. Successful collaborative learning strategies encourage increased student achievement, discussion, confidence, and active learning. Deeper learning approaches are expected to impact schools over the next three to five years, engaging students in critical thinking, problem solving, collaboration, and self-directed learning. Students who learn how their knowledge and skills impact the world around them are better able to develop ideas themselves and take control of how they engage with a subject. Coding as literacy is a short-term trend, driving tech adoption in K-12 for the next one to two years. As computer science remains one of the fastest growing industries, schools are adjusting to train the future workforce in areas of need. K-12 students are learning to code from a young age, designing websites, developing educational games and apps, and prototyping new products. Students as creators also falls in the short-term trends, as learners are exploring subject matter through the act of creation rather than the consumption of content. Many educators believe that honing these kinds of creative skills in learners can lead to deeply engaging learning experiences in which students become the authorities on subjects through investigation, storytelling, and production. The project's expert panel also outlined six significant challenges that could impede technology adoption in K-12 education if unresolved. A solvable challenge is something that we understand and know how to solve. Authentic learning experiences bring students in touch with real-world problems and work situations, preparing them to be successful in higher ed and the workforce. As schools incorporate more active learning practices, they need to rethink the roles of teachers. Teachers will need to shift their primary responsibilities from providing expert level knowledge to constructing learning environments that help students gain 21st century skills. A difficult challenge is one we understand, but for which solutions are elusive. Digital equity refers to the uneven access to high-speed broadband. While more schools are benefiting from improved internet connectivity, the growing pervasiveness of blending learning approaches is illuminating new gaps between those with and without high-speed internet. Scaling teaching innovations is another difficult challenge, as schools are not yet adept at moving teaching innovations into mainstream practice. Lack of incentives for educators is often cited as the main challenge to growing teaching innovations. A wicked challenge is complex to even define, much less address. The achievement gap is a particularly wicked challenge, as an abundance of research supports the relationship between socioeconomic status and student achievement. Progressive systems that provide more funding to higher-needs schools are needed to correct this imbalance. Personalized learning fosters a student-centered environment, empowering them to take charge of their education and nurture habits of lifelong learning. This challenge is wicked as the field has not yet reached consensus on the definition of personalized learning. The report also breaks down adoption horizons for important educational technology developments. In the one year or less adoption horizon, makerspaces are becoming more popular in K-12 environments thanks to their hands-on nature. Students in makerspaces learn valuable skills such as designing, prototyping, and creative thinking. Online learning refers to both formal and informal educational opportunities that take place through the web. The acceleration of online learning to widespread is largely in part to schools implementing BYOD, or bring your own device policies. In the two to three year adoption horizon, robotics and virtual reality are expected to make a big impact. Robotics can be useful in classrooms to help students absorb STEM concepts.
They enable students to simulate, observe, and make sense of complex scenarios. In the K-12 sector, virtual reality is well positioned as an educational tool, generating immersive environments for field trips, with simulation and research activities serving as a prime enabler of student-centered, experiential, and collaborative learning. In the last adoption horizon, four to five years from full adoption, artificial intelligence. AI's goal is to bolster productivity and engagement, which makes it promising for education as teaching and learning continues to increasingly take place online. Wearable technology is also in the four to five year adoption horizon. Today's wearables have the potential to interest a variety of students in STEAM learning, as classroom activities can encompass multidisciplinary efforts of design, building, and programming. The NMC COSIN Horizon Report 2016 K-12 edition is available now. Download your free copy at go.nmc.org slash 2016 dash K-12.